Secretary Holland has been a tireless advocate for this foundation, and I know she's as excited as I am about this day. Uh, Secretary, I want to thank you for your leadership, for your strong support for our nation's public lands heritage, and thank you for your support for this amazing BLM team. And now, Secretary Holland, I'm going to turn it over to you to say a few words. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you very much. I'm so proud to be your colleague. And thank you all for joining us on what is truly a historic day for America's public lands. To the BLM staff and partners on today's virtual event, I'm so grateful for you. I know many of you have devoted significant parts of your careers to public service, and I appreciate each and every one of you for the work you have done for our country and for the American people. How this nation chooses to manage its public lands speaks volumes about our priorities. I'm proud to be a part of a team that is committed to ensuring sustainable use and enjoyment of these lands for the benefit of all people. Today, the BLM manages one in 10 acres of land in the United States and nearly 40% of our nation's mineral resources. These lands, approximately 245 million acres, located mostly in the West and in Alaska, are part of our heritage as Americans. They represent the largest network of public lands in the world. Over the past 75 years, the agency has become a model for sustainable management of multiple uses across our public lands. We have a shared challenge to continue that legacy even as our public lands and outdoor heritage face great threats from climate change and increasing development. I know you all know this already, but our public lands are incredible. Spending time on our public lands has impacted me in profound ways. With my dad when I was a kid, with my brother as we trained for marathons, with BLM staff in my new role as secretary. I treasure those moments, and I know millions of Americans share those same connections, the same connections we all share. They provide habitat for over 3,000 species of wildlife. They provide unmatched experiences to get outside and experience the wonder of nature. They also help tell the story of America. These public lands contain thousands of cultural and historic sites, including places that are sacred to Indian tribes. And as Laura mentioned, public lands help drive our economy. They support the fast growing in outdoor recreation sector. They help power our nation and they provide the foundation for healthy natural systems that are the backbone of our economy. And they enhance community resilience to a changing climate. It's a privilege and an honor to be able to manage these lands for the benefit of current and future generations. And to do that right, we need to make sure that we have a Bureau of Land Management ready for the future. Not just with the right personnel, structure and resources, but also with a support system of outside partners collaborating on its success. And that's what today is about. Today, we are announcing an exciting new development that not only supports the work that the incredible public servants at the Bureau do, but also seizes the opportunity to change the course of history and improve the lives of future generations. I'm proud to announce the Foundation for America's Public Lands. This nonprofit foundation chartered by Congress will bring together public and private partners to benefit our shared public lands managed by the BLM. The achievements that will flow from this will benefit families, communities, and the country as a whole for years to come. The National Park Service has the National Park Foundation. The Fish and Wildlife Service has the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. The Forest Service has the National Forest Foundation. And as of today, the BLM has the Foundation for America's Public Lands to help protect and restore our lands, improve public access, and care for irreplaceable cultural and historic sites. These foundations serve as vital links between those who seek to support our public lands financially and America's natural heritage. As we celebrated the BLM 75th anniversary last year, we knew that this missing link could make a huge difference. 
We can look back with pride on the evolution of federal land management over those 75 years. But it's incumbent on us to look forward as well, to reimagine our public lands for generations to come, to figure out collectively how we manage these lands effectively and sustainably. Every American has a stake in the management of our public lands, and every American should be able to make that personal connection with this vital part of their heritage. I believe we all have a stake in the future of our country, and I believe that every one of us shares a common bond, our love for the outdoors and a desire and obligation to keep our nation livable for future generations. Congress understood this years ago, and in 2017, authorized the Secretary of the Interior to create a foundation dedicated to the incredible resources, landscapes, and recreational opportunities found on BLM managed lands. But the authorization languished for years in spite of the enormous challenges facing the agency and the lands it stewards. Those challenges grow in climate disruption that intensifies droughts, water scarcity and wildfires, habitat loss that accelerates each year, growing demands on our public lands from visitors and outdoor recreation enthusiasts require us to work together with partners and the public. An effective foundation partner will make an enormous difference in this effort. And that's why when I became secretary, one of my priorities was to breathe life into the BLM's foundation. Joining us today are the visionary leaders who will take on the enormous task of building the foundation from the ground up. I'm so grateful to them for stepping up to take on this role in service to the American people. It says so much about their commitment to this nation and their love for our public lands. First, I'm proud to introduce former Montana Governor Steve Bullock. Steve, who served two terms as governor, is a native Montanan who deeply understands how much BLM managed lands mean to the communities in Montana and across the West. His track record of bringing people together to get things done, a long history of fighting for working families and work to protect Montanans' access to public lands will help the foundation accomplish its mission. We're honored to have you, Governor Bullock. Next, I'll introduce Maite Arce, who is president and CEO of the Hispanic Access Foundation, an organization that connects Latinos and others with partners and works with them to improve lives and create an equitable society. Her story is an American story one of immigrants giving back to the nation that afforded them a new path and opportunities. Her 15 years of experience developing innovative outreach strategies that engage underrepresented communities will be critical as we seek to make public lands more welcoming and accessible to all Americans, regardless of their background, income, or zip code. Maite, thank you for agreeing to serve. I look forward to working with you. Our third founding board member is also intimately familiar with BLM, having led it for nearly four years. Neil Cornsey served as BLM director during the Obama administration. As director, he worked to get the foundation authorized, and it's fitting that he'll be here to help realize its vision. Neil led major reforms of our country's energy programs, including halting massive federal coal sales and authorizing the largest wind and solar projects in North America. That work will be critical as we re-envision the role our public lands have in the clean energy economy. Thank you, Neil, for coming back to us to perform this vital role. Our fourth founding board member, Stacy Leeds, is one of the nation's foremost legal minds. Stacy is a proven and experienced leader in law, higher education, governance, economic development, and conflict resolution. She's also a national voice for indigenous peoples and a proud member of the Cherokee Nation. As we seek to honor indigenous knowledge, strengthen tribal consultation, and respect the first stewards of our lands, her knowledge will be critical to honoring the ancestral homelands encompassed in BLM lands. 
The foundation is already off to an incredible start and Interior will do everything we can to support it every step of the way. The BLM will provide $3 million in seed money so the foundation can hire staff and begin operations. BLM Director Tracy Stone Manning and all future BLM directors will serve as members of the board during their tenures. This level of engagement will help ensure coordination and align our priorities. These four founding members will be joined by five other dynamic leaders to make up a nine member board that will lead the foundation. It's an incredible way to start 2022 and I can't wait to see what we can accomplish together.